People look at you strange saying you changed like you worked that hard to stay the same. Like you're doing all this for a reason. Welcome to Boxes in the Basement. I know the last review I said I wasn't going to do any reviews for a while, but this was one of the ones that was in the mail and I didn't want to leave this one stranded without doing a review or rather unboxing. So this is episode 101. I'm going to do a YouTube short so it will expedite the communication and what I'm trying to convey to my audience. But also, I did not want to leave this on the shelf without a review. So without any further ado, this is the Lee Ning is the company. Way of Wade Line is the brand. And this is the Ice Blood E2 Team No Sleep colorway. So we all know that, well, we don't all know, but if you don't know, this is D'Angelo Russell's line. This is his actual shoe run, his signature shoe. Being a signature athlete on their line, as well as Jimmy Butler, CJ McCollum, and some other players. This is a great shoe. And I didn't want to not do a review because this is a sleeper. This is a low top. Gives me those low top Kyrie low vibes, Kobe low vibes. And it just has a couple different talking pieces I want to get into just to do the review unboxing and not take up too much of y'all's time in the process. I like this colorway. The silhouette, they do have a all white one with gray accents and pink, but it's a predominantly white shoe. I did like the way that this silhouette looked. If you've been following me and watching my reviews, I do not like the white sole shoes as much because I just think it gets dirty quick and it leaves you to continue to clean. Even though I do clean all my shoes, it just is a little bit more turnish, it's a little bit fast. But I did like this one because the white one kind of blends it a little bit, but this one does give that ripple wave pattern and it gives me the Kyrie one vibes where it has the shark teeth that's on the side of the shoe uh, and on the medial side of the shoe on the inside, it just has it towards the toe box area, but it's just regular and external TPU plate but it does have a nice little pattern. And I just thought that that would look nicer on court and on foot. That's where we logo. It does have a canvas cloth material going around. It does have extra protection for the toe drag. And then it has the stitching that laces all the way around. And it does also have that plastic that fused in material just to help with the lockdown up. It has a pull tag in back, not that is really needed. I believe it gives a buffer for your Achilles protection. This one is the light foam material is that black midsole material and it does give compression. It appears to have the responsiveness as the cloud foam material, but it doesn't have the bounce back as quick. But the other one had a uh, synthetic plastic that was over it, where this one, as you can see, is just more of a dry rub type material rather than having something coated over top of it. So that could be the case, but they both give me good vibes, a good feel when I tried it on. I haven't performed it yet, but when I tried it on, it actually gave me the cork feel but it also had like an elevated level of protection if you can catch my drift with that. other integral pieces you can do your research on though it has loading here and the ice blood uh, name comes with d'angelo russell saying he has ice blood in his veins and also has loading on the back heel but i do like this i did want to talk about that too the achilles protection if you can see that foam right here the extra padding that's something that stood out as soon as i put the shoe on the traditional eyelet systems doesn't have as much protection in the tongue area but you don't really need that for breathability purposes but you can wear different you know padded socks if you want to i like it stay tuned for the actual performance review from the youtube short video episode 101 the unboxing of the way of wade ice blood v2 team no sleep take care